Semen retention. Semen retention. Semen retention. Like it, was, it was therapeutic. Semen retention. The, the feeling of accomplishment is worth it. One of the most talked about crazes in the modern teen boy world. Basically, dudes can't keep it in their pants. So today and over the next 30 days, I'm going to be taking one for the team and seeing if it's worth the hype. And in order to see if it's worth it or not, I'm going to be rating it on these three things. How many of the so-called benefits I actually noticed personally, how I felt at the end of the 30 days, and finally, if I would recommend you, lovely people, to try it for yourself. So we're starting here off on day number one, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. This is gonna freaking suck. But I'm gonna see it through for science. So the rules for this challenge are pretty straightforward, as I'm sure you can assume. Basically, just no busting. That's the only rule for this challenge. But throughout this, I'm gonna be seeing if I get some of the so-called benefits. There's literally a million benefits people talk about when doing this. And some of them are like, this is the big old stretch, but I've seen them everywhere. So if it's real, this might be the most goaded thing of all time. So some of the benefits include higher energy levels, muscle growth, better sleep, improved focus and concentration, better physical performance and stamina, improved or cured erectile dysfunction, improved sperm quality. <laughs> So I think what they're banking on with a lot of these is just that your testosterone is going to increase, which I'm going to have to do some research on to see if that's true or not. I don't know if it's going to, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Day number one starts now. Okay, so I was digging into this because I have nothing else to do with my time, and I like doing a little bit of research um, to see how they're expecting you to get muscle gain due to semen retention, because that just, it doesn't correlate whatsoever in my opinion. So what I was finding is it's because they were banking on a testosterone increase, which there's data to prove it, but not great. So my sample period is 30 days of when I'm gonna be doing the science experiment. You get your biggest spike of testosterone around day seven, it's showing, but then after that, you kind of drop back down to your baseline levels. So if you're doing this for a year long period at a time, you're probably not gonna see higher testosterone for the most part, unless there's other things that you're doing to complement this in order to get higher testosterone, you're probably not gonna see it specifically from this over a long-term period. So I guess that's the first myth debunked. I wasn't gonna be able to prove that anyways because we're not going to see a difference in my body in 30 days let's be honest now what do i do <laughs> All right, so it's just been pretty normal of a day. Just went about my normal routine. Um, it hasn't been too hard just yet, but I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep right now. I don't think it's gonna be too hard the first few days, but there's gonna be some challenges along the way. I can almost guarantee it. Day one of 30 in the bag. Dude, I feel like the hardest part about this challenge is just redoing your entire schedule. Like literally in order to do this, I feel like I can't do any of the things I used to do on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Cause it just gets you in the habit of it. So I'm just having to do things in a completely different order, which is kind of throwing my systems off, but I bet I'll get used to this new thing like over time. You know what I'm saying? It's just completely different from what I'm used to. Overall though, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel pretty freaking good. Like I feel pretty good. My energy's pretty good. Like I don't feel beat 24 seven like I normally do. I got a little bit more drive, I guess I would say to like, wake up early and work out, for example. But I don't know, it's just different, but a good difference. Bro, this is the dream right here. I'm sitting here in my freaking massage chair doing some work. Come on, bro. Doesn't get much better than that, let me tell you that much. What I found so far is the more you can keep yourself distracted and off of your routine, the better. So if any of you are gonna do something like this or try to break some sort of addiction or something, get off of your normal routine. Normally I work at my desk, work other places or work out at different times, so on and so forth, game changer. Otherwise, you're just gonna fall right back into the habit because it's what you're used to, it's what your subconscious mind does. You're gonna go right back to it. Well, I don't know why I don't do this more. This is freaking nice. Good morning. I just woke up. Um, I am not feeling great. <laughs> So far, my sleep has been pretty average. It's about where my baseline stats have been over these past like two years of me tracking it. So not much improvement there. When I saw that, it kind of didn't really make too much sense to me because, you know, it's actually proven that busting a nut can improve your sleep quality. So that didn't make too much sense to me, but who knows? I don't know the reasoning behind a lot of these things. I'm pretty tired. I know that much. A lot of people talk about like doing this challenge and they're like, oh, you know, after day four, five or whatever is just so easy like it's no problem after all that whatsoever it's still hard bro it's a freaking normal human experience of course you're gonna have some difficulties when trying to cut it out of your life my biggest thing is i feel like balance is just very key for every single thing in life so if you're going full force on something like for example for this if you're 
not doing it or doing it way too often in negative ways. There's good ways to do it, bad ways to do it. But if you're doing it way too often in negative ways, obviously there's going to be some negative side effects to it. So I think a good balance is key in my opinion, but I'm going to finish out the challenge, see how I feel and see if I maybe change my mind. Ah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently, I think, day nine. Last night I was having one of those nights where I was just like, let's go. I'm going to get up early, work out. Oh, I woke up this morning tired as ball sack. But you know, you got to see it through. So I'm about to go hit a little arm day. It's like 7 a.m., which is extremely early for me regardless. I'm like a 9 a.m. -er. To be honest with you, the fact that I'm even out here at this time is pretty immaculate. I don't know if it's placebo or if this is actually doing something for me, but I'm like 100% of the time at nighttime worker outer. Like unless it's training like jujitsu or something that I have to do in the morning, lifting, I'm 100% at nighttime. So we'll see how this workout goes. But this is our huge milestone for me. <laughs> so I'll freaking take what I can get. Uh, the workout's gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna put it on screen here for you fine people. And then you can follow along with me. And we can get a nasty arm up together. The, the feeling of accomplishment is worth it. Successful workout. I barely made it out alive, but you know what I'm saying as long as you do it That's all that matters. I feel great now that it's done <laughs> so far I feel like the biggest thing with this challenge is just distracting myself, but the pump All right, this light is cheeks. The pump went pretty crazy. Can't complain. So success said Success I have to eat. I haven't eaten crap yet. So I am starving I will say I've never struggled necessarily with like negative self-pleasure watching bad things you know what i'm saying like this is just a hard thing because it's a normal part of life you know what i'm saying and there's benefits that come with doing stuff like that whether it's in your relationship or as long as you have a healthy relationship with it so it's like you lose parts of that so that's one of the main downfalls i've noticed so far because that's a very intimate thing and so you do lose that as long as you're doing it in the right way but i don't know i guess we're just gonna have to see if the pros outweigh the cons but i ain't doing this my whole life i'll tell you that much right it's i don't know what day it is it's one of the days i'm going through it my boy i am going through it right now <laughs> it's a good little day um, i'm gonna go to bed here soon i'm winding down kind of i gotta turn off these bright lights otherwise i'm not sleeping night signs my boy night signs i am telling you but we gotta see it through tomorrow i'm gonna be feeling so good so you just gotta sacrifice it's kind of like an investment i'm just investing now to feel good tomorrow. My boy. <laughs> I don't know if this is placebo or not placebo or if this is like a real thing, but it's, let's see, 20 minutes after I woke up. Normally, 20 minutes into waking up, holy freak, you don't even want to talk to me. As you can see, I'm functioning right now. I don't look too tired. I got a decent amount of sleep, but nothing like insane. So I don't know, bruh. This might be placebo or maybe it was just a good night's sleep last night overall, but I'm feeling good. Doing a little bit of work on this fine day. Um, One of the benefits was improved energy and focus i'm feeling it my boy i am feeling good right now i'm kind of just locked in i've been working for so far like about an hour i'm just doing my like 20 20 20 role we've talked about this in the past but dude right now i'm locked in i'm flying through my work it's working it's working i'm saying it. it's working it's doing something to me or maybe i'm just an animal these days i'm feeling pretty good my boy the daytime's always the easiest part of these challenges and when i'm alone the easiest part of these challenges but there's sometimes it's hard but if it's like this all the time from doing this bro i'll do this 100 percent of the time just kidding that's a lie i won't do this 100%. i'll do it periodically i'll sacrifice so i was just realizing oh frick i'm just about at 30 days of this challenge i kind of forgot about it i'm not gonna lie to you i started filming other videos and i was like oh shoot I forgot i was even doing this challenge really i forgot to film for it but don't worry i didn't fail anyways there were two last points that i had never touched on or so-called benefits erectile dysfunction i never really had erectile dysfunction so i'm not sure if it cured that or not maybe it has maybe it hasn't i could see it doing it though i think most of the problem with erectile dysfunction is you're watching naughty 
content and it's giving you a false perspective on women causing you to not be pleased when you're with an actual woman so on and so forth so i think that's most of the reasoning there and then the other one was improved sperm quality um, i never did a sperm test i never have i probably should at some point just to make sure but i can see why it would improve it you're not letting it out as much so maybe it just improves itself i have no idea how that works i don't i'm not a scientist i'm just a subject to science <laughs> but look overall bro i'm feeling pretty good uh, my energy's good i got good mental clarity that's probably the biggest thing i've noticed is my mental clarity sleep i haven't noticed a difference whatsoever my sleep is still fine I, it's, I still sleep good um but yeah the mental clarity focus and energy levels out of this world all right so it is day 30 so i mean technically i'm cutting this challenge a little bit short because i should be finishing on day 31 same thing i gotta get this video out so i gotta cut it one day short don't kill me um how am i feeling you might be asking great um some of the benefits i saw a great improvement on kind of like we've been talking about energy focus clarity all that other ones they might be kept testosterone increase probably not i haven't noticed any big difference there um the right how this function semen quality i have no idea but honestly if i'm getting benefits such as energy clarity focus it is so worth it 10 times over for me a hundred percent worth it now the things i'm losing to get those uh definitely not worth it but there are some pros and cons to it so i think you could take the principles you learned here and implement them in other places where you might need to cut out of your life such as naughty content overall i would recommend this challenge to people especially if it's an unhealthy habit habit in your life, I totally recommend it. If it's not an unhealthy habit and you do it moderately and you can moderate how often you're doing it, so on and so forth in a healthy way, not worth it. But if you need help and you feel like it's a problem in your life and you realize it's a problem in your life, I recommend it. Anyways, follow me on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. Tarzan John 27 ask me any questions you got. I love answering questions. I love helping you guys out whenever I can. So if you have any concerns, anything like that, reach out. I'm more than happy to help. I got some more bangers coming soon. Next video is going to be a super fun one. I'm super excited about that one. So subscribe. Stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>